Hey, how's it going guys? So in this video, uh, I'm going to show you guys how to do the first part of this HTTP Academy module, uh, attacking web applications with FFUF. Uh, in case you didn't know, FFUF stands for Fuzz Faster You Fool. Uh, so it's a pretty uh, cool tool to use with a cool name. Um, so just a quick note about FFUF, it is a fuzzing tool. Um, so what that is, it's a, it's a tool that sends a ton of user input um, to a web app and just to see how it would react. Uh, so for this first module, um, we're gonna be doing directory fuzzing. So we're gonna be looking for hidden directories. Um, so we'll get right to it. So I'm not gonna go over um, everything in here. I'm gonna show you guys how to complete this first module here. Um, so we'll scroll all the way down here and we'll go ahead and spawn the target system here. All right, and then I am using my own uh, Linux environment. Um, so I don't use the free instance there. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and get to it. So I'm gonna go ahead and VPN um, to uh, HDB Academy here. Let me go to my desktop and then VPN in here. <clears throat> all right, so we're good there. I'm gonna spawn another terminal window. All right, so in the instructions it says uh, there's another directory that can be found. What is it? Um, so let's look at the cheat sheet here. Um, so for directory fuzzing, we have this command right here. Um, so just a quick overview. We have to use a word list, um, which is a predefined list of words of common directories, right? So in my Linux environment, I already installed Seclis, and in the tutorial, it shows you, um, or it tells you, I think, that Seclis is already installed on uh, their instances, their VMs. Um, so what I had to do is I had to um, I had to install Seclis. So if you have your own uh, Linux environment, you just do sudo apt install Seclis, and I did that already. And then once you do that, an important command is sudo update db. Um, you want to update the local cache, um, and then what you can do is you can locate where your word list got saved. So if I do this, do locate seclis, it shows me all the uh, word list that got saved. Uh, so in our case, we're looking for this small uh, word list called directory dash list dash two dot three uh, dash small dot text. Uh, so if I go in here um, and I do locate uh, directory uh, directory dash list dash 2.3 dash small txt. I can see that um, it's located in my user share folder. So this is the word list that we're going to use. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this guy. All right. And so that command we were looking at, uh, so if we go back to the cheat sheet, it's going to be ffuf dash w, type in the word list, and then the keyword fuzz, which is the placeholder, and then dash u, and then we put in the server information, and then also um, the placeholder fuzz at the end. So let's go ahead and do that. So it's gonna be, click back in here, ffuf-w, and then I'm gonna paste in my location of that word file, and then do fuzz, dash u, and then it's gonna be HTTP, and then the target IP, so it's going to be 209.97.177.45, and then the port is 32742, and then we have to put the keyword fuzz here so that all the, all the directories in that list get saved in this keyword fuzz. We're going to be searching for all the directories uh, in this URL and then go ahead and hit enter. And then it's gonna scan, um, and it's literally taking that whole word list and it's trying to browse to every um, every possible directory and it's using that word list. Um, so well, let's do its thing. Let's go ahead and cancel out here. Um, and let's scroll back up and look at the output. Um, so we'll see that form is a hidden directory. And as you can see that I already have the answer uh, as a forum. Um, so that's, and that's pretty much how you do it. 
Um, and we can keep scanning the output to see if there's more. You can see there's blog. Um, so now if you browse to, um, you can browse to uh, that form page. So if we go 209.97.177.45, and then we go colon 32742, and then we'll go forum. And you can see it's actually a blank page. And it's a, it's a legit uh, directory uh, that we browse to. And you can, you know, type in, you know, whatever here. And you can say not found, right? So um, we know that forms a legit one. Uh, I think blog was another one. Yep, so it comes up with an actual page. Um, so it's a blank page, but still a legit page. And like I said, if it wasn't a legit page, like if we did slash test, um, if you get not found, that's not a legit page. But with FFUF, it will um, return which ones gave you that response code of 200, um, which is a legit page. Um, so yeah, so uh, that's how um, you do this first module here. Uh, hope you guys liked the video. Hope you found it helpful. Uh, please subscribe, and we'll talk to you guys later.